seconds as soon moon's mission as landed on moon on 23rd august with its components vikram lander and pragyan rover so here are the components of the chandrayaan 3 pragyan rover vikram lander and earth so now let us see the mechanism of the chandrayaan 3 each time the data collected by the pragyan rover is sent to the vikram lander and only the vikram lander sends the data to the earth but after the hibernation period due to the high chillness the the vikram lander is totally destroyed now there is no connection between the pragyan rover and earth so we could not able to establish a connection between pragyan rover and earth but perhaps we have a solution for the problem faced by the isro scientists shri guru bena maha shri guru bena maha i am devesh i am shashank we are the students of konvi dasham are here to present our project as a solution to this problem Life-fi data transfer in space. What is Li-Fi? Li-Fi is a bidirectional wireless system in which data is transmitted via LED or infrared light. You may heard of Wi-Fi, which uses radio frequency. Li-Fi only needs a light source and a chip to transmit data through light waves. The abstract of the project. As we have discussed earlier, in the case of Chandrayaan-3, Vikram lander has failed to transmit data to the Earth. So well, now we have implemented the Li-Fi technology in the prototype of a Pragyan rover and satellite to receive the audio and the video output. Now let us now see the real time working principle of audio transmission in this Pragyan rover project. Generally, we use radio wave transmission for the data transmission in space. But what is the advantage of using Li-Fi technology in the usage of uh, data transmission in space? So now coming to that, Li-Fi has many advantages. So one possible reason why you may need to use Li-Fi technology is that it has a low latency. Low latency means that it can process huge amount of data with a minimal delay. Li-Fi technology can transmit data up to 224 GB per second, whereas radio frequency can transmit data up to 10 GB per second. So this provides a huge marginal advantage between Li-Fi technology and radio frequency. Another possible reason why you may need to use Li-Fi technology is that it avoids spectrum congestion and interference that affects the radio waves. Radio waves can be easily affected by solar rays and cosmic radiation. 
So light right technology overcomes this problem by using different wavelengths of light such as ultraviolet, infrared light and visible light but they are at various distances and environment. So light right technology uses the methods of uh, encryption and authentication to prevent hackers from hacking and it can also reduce the risk of data sniffing and uh, jamming of unauthorized third parties. We are using light to transfer data, but what happens if this light gets nullified by the moonlight? So, in the practical situation, we can use uh, infrared light which has a higher wavelength than red light to transmit the data from Gradient Rover to the satellite. And what about the cost? It is very cost efficient as we are using the pre-existing satellite to transmit data. In the path of light, if there is any interruption, what can we do? So, we can use the same Wi-Fi technology to calibrate the movement of satellite and the rover to transmit data. Coming to the end, this is a novel and an indigenous solution built by us for a challenge in this case by the ISRO scientists. Thank you. Sri Guru Vyanamaha.